Hey everybody, I had to bleed, no, what did I have to do? I had to drain and flush out my heater core in my van. So you can get a kit to do all this, but just go ahead and take the upper and lower hose off. It goes into the cab. At first I used a funnel. It didn't have enough pressure. The water just kept on coming back out. It was kind of clogged. So I didn't want to buy the kit and run down the road. So I got my garden hose. I had this little on off device for the end of the hose and I had an old washing machine hose. I had a piece of a PVC pipe and I had an old piece of a hose from the car I had earlier. So I had some of those connectors there and I just made my own little flushing kit. It didn't cost me any money. You also need some hose cutters or you can have a, a knife or whatever. Just be careful. And um, I put everything together and I used Teflon tape around all the joints. This is a piece of a uh, pipe I had laying around and it has a, a male uh, threaded end on. So that's how I hooked the pipe up to my hose, use the connectors. So like I said, just your regular old garden hose. And I ran this little piece is an on off switch and it's male is double female. So it went to the garden hose and it went to the washing machine hose. And that's important because I wanted an on. I want to be able to turn it on, off or on in the middle of the uh, of the setup. And that piece, that hose there, goes to the vehicle using a clamp. Don't just put it on the on the nozzle with the vehicle, and it's the the pressure may blow it off or whatever. So I just made sure I put the clamps on. And again, your regular old wash machine hose, a garden hose a couple of other connectors, use Teflon tape and those clamps so nothing, the pressure doesn't move or anything or force anything off. You may have to spray WD-40 on the pipes to get it in the hose. Um, I think it's 5 8 rubber hose I used. So I hooked it up, used the clamps, turned the water hose on, and then hit my middle switch and um, tried to flush out the upper, the upper, um, section first and sure enough the water got through came out dark i just let the hose run until it ran clear and it didn't take long at all and i want to say that's going backwards because the upper i think is the outlet the lower is the inlet so i did it backwards and you see it got muddy again and then it started coming out clear i just let it run clear thanks for watching have a blessed day